Thanks, dude. What's going on, everybody? Solomon Ortiz coming at you live from Canada, Delaware. Happy Money Monday, Motivation Monday, and uh, Christmas Eve. Hope everyone's having a great, great day. If you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know if you're here live with me. City, state, country, let me know. Say hello to Bruno, even though he's not looking at y'all back. Say hello. <laughs> he does not want to look at the camera. What's going on, everybody? Merry Christmas Eve. If you're hopping on the live, <laughs> drop down in the comments. Let me know if you're here live with me. Oh, man, you're getting heavy, buddy. Man, he's getting big, isn't he? Hello. Oh, man. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting tired of carrying this guy, so I'm going to put him down. <laughs> so thanks for hopping on. Let me uh, let me put him down. And, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He lost his horns. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Again, if you're hopping on the live, drop down in the comments. Let me know if you're here live with me. City, state, country. If you are watching the replay, write the word replay. And if you're new to the broadcast, write the word new. Oh, man, that was rough. He is not light, guys. He's a big boy. Short, but he is definitely stocky. So, again, guys, thank you for hopping on. Merry Christmas Eve for those of you that are, hopefully you're not working. I know there's some people that are going to be working, but if you're off on the holidays, oh man, thank you for joining me and watching the live. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Solomon Ortiz, oh. also known as Hashtag Combat Keto. I'm a father, oh. parent, pity parent, entrepreneur, health and wellness, oh. coach, social media bro, <laughs> keto bro, the people's champ. And I'd love to get on here, motivate, educate, and inspire others. With that being said, let's get into it. Hey, guys, come here. Get away from the window. They see something outside. Probably the rabbits. Get over here. Come here. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about how to start keto and what you should do while on you know the holiday season. So it is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's going to be Christmas. What should you be doing? Should you uh, indulge in you know carb? carb-like sugary foods, or should you stick to keto? So that's probably a question if you're on the ketogenic lifestyle. If you're not on the keto ketogenic lifestyle, listen up anyways, because this is gonna be an informative video. I'm gonna give you uh, 10 tips on basically how to start keto. And especially with the New Year's coming, uh, you know, coming around the corner, something that y'all might want to know, right? Guys, get away from the window. Thank you. <laughs> so again, thank you for hopping on, guys. It is not snowing over here, but that's okay. Um, it's still beautiful. Uh, the sun's out, and uh, hopefully it does stop raining. So because the rain's making the ground so soggy, so I can't let the dogs out and play. So for myself, I've been kind of I've been strict. However, there uh, Thanksgiving I did have you know carb like meals. Uh, and then I think I had maybe, uh, one carb meal afterwards after, uh, uh, the, uh, Thanksgiving holiday. And again, if you're hopping on, let me know that you're here live with me. Um, so for those of you that are thinking about doing keto or have been interested in it, these tips are going to help you out quite a bit. Okay. So I know I'm going to have the kids here later on this week. Uh, it's going to be packed with snacks. I'm going to show you some snacks that they have, and normally I wouldn't have them, but you know what? It is the holiday season. I'm going to indulge a little bit. I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to hang out with them, enjoy their company, and uh, I'm going to have some carby food, you know? It is what it is, I know. Uh, so tip number one for you guys, and again, thank you for hopping on. If you share this video, let me know, and I will give you a full name shout out. Merry Christmas, yes, and everybody to everybody. Yeah, you too, Brian. Um, Number one is ask your doctor the question, should you go keto or should you try keto, okay? I know that people ask me, you know, get on here and say all the time, Solomon, should I do keto? Is keto good for diabetics? Is keto, uh, you know, with, you know, heart problems, blah, blah, blah. I need, to, <laughs> I need to let you know that I am not a doctor, okay? Disclaimer, I am not a doctor. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know, not licensed in, you know, 
to do that, okay? I, I didn't go to school for that, so I can't give you those kind of um, those answers, okay? What I can do is give you my personal experience and experience of others, okay? Has there been people that, that have uh, gotten on keto while diabetic and gotten off of meds? Yes, there's been studies, there's been cases, there's been people. I know people, I have friends that have done that, but that's their story. I can never ever recommend that for you because I am not a, your doctor. You need to talk to your doctor first and foremost, okay? So make sure that you do that. Ask your doctor, okay? Better to be safe than sorry. If you choose to do that, even though your doctor tells you not to, because I know the doctors told me to do a lot of things, then that's your choice on you, okay? It's, uh, it is your choice and that is on you, okay? So tip number two, remove all carbohydrate temptations. This is gonna be hard if you have kids. Um, but if you don't have kids, remove all carbohydrates, you know, uh, out, out of sight. Okay. If you do have kids, that's a bit of a challenge. Leave them in the cupboard. Don't go near the cupboard. Stay in there stay away from that as much as possible. But for me, <laughs> it is really hard because the kids, you can see this is like pretty much empty. <laughs> Jalapeno, man, let me tell you guys. <laughs> I need to figure a way to make jalapeno Cheetos keto style. I'll have to figure that one out, all right? You got cheesy puffs, definitely not keto friendly. You got Doritos, definitely not keto friendly. But I grabbed them from the cupboard because I wanted to show you that even Combat Keto has carbohydrates in his house but he doesn't touch them, okay? I have not touched them. You know, it's for the kids only but you know, being it's, you know, Christmas Eve and, and Christmas tomorrow, you know what? I'm going to indulge a little bit. So if I have a couple chips, hey, no harm, no foul. I've been a good boy all year. I've been dedicated. I've been uh, keeping myself accountable. I've been going to the gym. I've been staying on track with my diet. I've been drinking my combat coffee. So I am good to go. So Santa says, go ahead, Solomon, have some chips. <laughs> Menudo, no menudo around here, but you know what? When I get to Texas, you know where I'm going. I'm gonna be going to mom's. <laughs> mom's gonna be making me some menudo, some tamales. All right, so tip number three is stay under 25 net carbs. 25 net carbs. If you're starting out, that's that would be my basic go-to right there is keep your carbohydrates low, okay? 25 net carbs, that means you don't count the fiber. So if, let's say you have, you know, 10 carbs on, on a label or whatever, and five of those are fiber, subtract the fiber, leaves you at, at uh, five net carbs, okay? So easy peasy, lemon squeezy, do it that way and you'll be okay, all right? Um, meal prepping. Meal prep is huge, guys. Uh, I noticed that when I meal prep, I have much better results and I have a lot more time on my hands to spare. Uh, even though it takes you know a while to make it while you're meal prepping, you take you know an hour or two to to make the meals. You save so much time during the week, so that's that's why I like to meal prep. Plus, you can actually calculate what you're actually you know consuming throughout the day, and it's a lot easier for you. Um, tip number five: keto flu. I know a lot of people talk about the keto flu. I have never had it. Uh, I've heard it's horrible. It's like the flu, but I have never had it. Tips to not have it is drink combat coffee. It'll help you get into transition into while you're going into, uh, you know, getting your body into ketosis. Add more pink Himalayan salt. That way you're not so dehydrated and you, your, your electrolytes are leaving you. Uh, also, pickle juice is good. Bone broth is good too as well. You know, these are just some tips that I get. I also drink um, here, uh, Powerade Zero. Powerade Zero has tons and tons uh, of uh, potassium in it and it has sodium in it too as well. So this is really good for you and zero sugars and definitely uh, uh, no, the additives, you know, the crazy stuff, nothing in there, okay? Really good. It's a lot better than Gatorade, trust me. All right, tip number six uh, is avoid the low carb uh, alternatives in the beginning, okay? So if you're starting into keto, I highly, highly suggest to stay away from the low carb, you know, Foods, you know, you got the low carb tortillas, you got the low carb breads, you got the low carb whatever. Those, those will actually. That's that's the same thing as the low carb, the low fat ones, you know, the low fats or the fat free stuff. You got to be careful with those. I'm not saying that I've never had them. I'm just saying if you get too used to eating those, you're never really going to get into a transition where you eat um, 
foods like steak and eggs and bacon and, and fish and ch and chick all, all that all the all the foods that you could make versus you know you go and you, you go into the freezer section and you get the uh, microwavables that are like low carb and stuff like that. If you do that, you're, you're really never you're kind of like uh, you're crippling yourself. Cause then later on, if you can't find those, you need to like make something. You're like kind of like asked out, and you really, you really don't know what to do. I always say start from the ground up, and if as time goes on, then you can. You know, you've seen me post videos about the uh, the Quest pizzas. The Quest pizzas are are uh, cauliflower made, but at the same time, I always recommend you know just go for the whole food uh, section, okay? Which leads me into stick to whole foods. Grass-fed meats, huge, huge, huge uh, uh, thing for me. I, I don't have anything from uh, Walmart or anything where else. Uh, I like to go to the butchers and get my meat fresh uh, from grass-fed cattle, uh, chicken, all that, because I, I feel like it's a lot, it's, a, it's better for you because you're having, you know, uh, something that's not chemically induced as much. So you definitely uh, want to go that route. Plus, you know what you're putting into your body. Uh, you definitely want to know what you're putting into your body for sure. But when you go for the whole foods, it's teaching you how to how to do it from scratch. You know, uh, you can make your own food. You can you can uh, grill your own steak or cook your own steak or whatever. Versus going to the store and grabbing a microwavable food. You know, and you don't want to go that route all the time. Okay, so if that makes sense, drop a two down. All right. Number where am I? Eight. Lazy keto. This is a huge one, lady. Lady. Lazy keto. All right. Lazy keto can work. Lazy keto can work. In the beginning, okay? In the beginning. But for those of you that are doing keto or and are on the lazy keto diet, you're probably noticing a plateau right now if you've been doing it for quite some time and your weight has is, is stagnant. You're not dropping any more body fat, okay? That's because you need to start transitioning into counting your macronutrients. So from that point on, start counting your macronutrients. So in the beginning, I always recommend keto is okay because you're trying to you're trying to get used to eating, you know, the bacon, the eggs, the cheese, uh, the steak, uh, all that, all the, all the foods, avocados, getting all those fats in, and then eventually you're gonna have to start calculating that. Okay, so that's really important. Start calculating. Oh my goodness, what happened? All right, I think I just lost you guys. Some for some reason, connection is low. Let me know if you're still here live with me because I just lost connection. That is so weird. Never seen that before. All right, so next one is number nine is intermittent fasting, okay? If you've ever done intermittent fasting, drop a two down. Yes, it's doing it again. Oh my goodness, hang on. Let me see. If... All right, cool. You're here. Thank you so much. Intermittent fasting is a huge one, guys. It's 16. Uh, I like to do 16 hours, you know, uh, fasting and then eight hours, uh, eight hour window to eat. So basically, it's just a small, short, uh, time frame to eat all your food and all your to get all your uh, your calories in for that day okay and majority of the time you can't do it because it's a lot of food so you end up not eating that much but also it allows your body to actually you know repair itself inside and out while you're fasting it's 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 a really awesome tool if you do if you do do it um, I would do it for quite some time because you're definitely gonna feel a lot better I like to do it, uh, but I haven't been doing it here lately, but starting January 1st, when I start doing the uh, combat keto group cut with uh, uh, with my group, I'm gonna definitely be uh, implementing uh, intermittent fasting. Tip number 10 is slow progress is still progress. All right, guys, slow progress is still progress. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, uh, inches on the waist or weight off the scale or if you're fitting real nice loose in the uh, in the tummy area it guys it's still progress and which is going to lead me into my next my next tip but while you're making progress remember this is a journey you have the whole 2019 to start doing this to 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 gradually keep losing weight, losing body fat. Don't get stuck in the rut. Don't get don't get down on yourself because you know your weight is going to fluctuate. I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. But as long as you're feeling good and you're seeing the results, you're going to see. Uh, and and the long term, you're going to wind up seeing the uh, the hard work pay off. Okay, so just remember that, guys. 
Uh, which leads me into my final and last tip is don't get caught up with compare-itis, okay? Don't compare yourself to others. I know for myself, you know, um, I see guys on Instagram, you know, they've got the, the chiseled pecs and the, uh, the abs, washboard abs, you know. I don't compare myself to them because I'm not them. I'm, I'm on my journey. I'm on a different journey. I'm sure you uh, can feel what I'm putting down, you know. You see it on Instagram, you know, even for the ladies, you know, it, it, the ladies that are uh, exposing themselves a lot more. And it's like, wow, you know, this, this chick has, you know, a great body. Why can't I have that, you know, or why hasn't that happened to me? Like, if you continuously think about that, it, it's not going to happen, okay? Just remember, it's your journey. You should be focused on you. Don't let someone's, you know, uh, year 20 uh, uh, affect your year one, okay? So if they they might have been doing it for 20 years, you know, and ultimately they've gotten to that point, you know? Um, everybody's journey is different. I know for myself, you know... Uh, I haven't even been in a year uh, in ketosis, okay? Because I started, you know, in, in uh, uh, mid, mid this year, you know. So for those of us that are doing keto and, and still on this journey, we should always be focused that, hey, look, we shouldn't worry about other people, you know. What we should do when we see that, we should applaud them. We should praise them. We should say, congratulations, way to go. Um, I know that I spoke about this before is, you shouldn't hate on someone else's success, okay? If someone else's success is is is, uh, is shining and you can see that, you know, you got to give respect where respect is due, you know? You just got to say, hey, look, you know, good job, awesome, you know? Hating on them and, and, and talking about them, it, it basically is just a projection of your insecurities. And ultimately, you, you know deep down inside that that's what you want to be and that's what you want to look like. So, hey, instead of, you know, complaining about it and, and, and uh, griping about it, do something, do a change for some, for, you know, for once and just continue your journey. OK, so again, don't get caught up with comparitis because that can that right there can definitely um, halt you in your progress for sure. I know that that's a, that's true. So and that's it, guys. Um, I know I'm excited for January 1st. I'm excited for the Christmas. Um, January 1st, I'm, uh, I already launched it last week, uh, but we begin uh, the combat keto cut. It is already launched, so for those of you that don't know already, it is going to be basically, you know, a, a, a team, a group of, of individuals that are going to be together doing the keto. We're going to all be doing, you know, I'm going to calculate macros, we're going to be motivation, inspirational posts. Um, we're going to be put in a private group chat where you can com communicate with me one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, also, just kind of basic coaching, uh, meal programs, basic generic programs, basically ideas what you should be having throughout the week, give you some ideas for foods, and just overall, just having, you know, that support that you need while you're, you know, on the keto journey and getting healthier and fit at the same time. So I'm super excited about that. If you're interested in that, drop I'm interested in the comments and I'll definitely uh, hook you up with some uh, details. But that's it, guys. Enjoy your Christmas. I hope everyone has a great, great Christmas holiday. If I don't see you uh, in between then and New Year's, then hey, have a happy New Year's too as well. And thank you so much, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do me a huge, huge solid, share this video out. That's all I ask, guys. Share this video out. I appreciate you so much, guys. Uh, this 2018 has been crazy. It, it, I, I'm super excited for the 2019 to come. Uh, you should too. And as always, I'm Solomon Ortiz, hashtag Combat Keto, and I'll see y'all at the top and next year. Take care. Peace.